Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. But who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And what he do? And he's gonna react to all the self snitching. Oh. Hi, this is Bruce Rivers. Welcome to another episode of Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers, board certified criminal defense lawyer. And today we're reacting to the news that Henry Ruggs is going to plead guilty. Now, before we get to that, this is brought to you by where? Esign.com. Esign.com, a very effective way to remotely do business. Let's say you are trying to draft a plea agreement and your client is on home monitoring. You send the document over to him by eSign, you download the app, you get three free signatures a month. You can do that business remotely. I use it all the time myself, I really do. When I have a client that's out of town or can't come into the office or you wanna get something done quickly. But it, you can use it for just about anything. You can use it for power of attorney. You can use it for any kind of agreement of just about any kind. You don't even have to be in the same state. You just e-sign it and your deal is done. E-sign.com, a very effective way to remotely do business. Now, Rugg's attorney announced a sudden change during their court appearance on Tuesday. That's today. They're waiving a preliminary hearing. Let's talk about what a preliminary hearing is first. When, like in Minnesota, it doesn't have to have preliminary hearings. We did wait those a long time ago. They charge it by complaint. Once a judge, judge signs the complaint, this probable cause is established, basically. You can still challenge it through a different kind of hearing. But in other states where they do have preliminary hearings, that's a hearing to determine whether there's probable cause to go forward to a jury. So when you have a preliminary hearing, you put on the cops or any other witnesses that would either tend to establish probable cause or if you got uh, if you can blow a hole through probable cause, you put your witnesses on. But generally speaking, it's a very low bar to establish probable cause. Just slightly more true than not true. It's slightly more true that a crime was committed and that the defendant committed the crime. So he would be pleading guilty to felony count of DUI resulting in death and misdemeanor manslaughter, which carries the total of two to 10 years in prison or three to 10 years in prison. So let, let's just kind of recap as to what this case is about to begin with. Now, remember Henry Ruggs was traveling in a vehicle going 156 miles per hour. You know, that that's one of the th things that, that these these very fast cars and these very young brains and a lot of alcohol is a deadly combination, in my opinion. But he was 0.16, so he's twice the legal limit when he crashed. And his crash created a fire. And this woman was trapped in her car and burned to death. And her puppy died. According to bystanders, there was somebody that thought... Uh, that had witnessed or came upon the crash shortly thereafter, thought he was dead because he was dangling out of his car. Take a look at this car. It's a newer Corvette, which are very, very fast. And they're like, they're supercars. I mean, they really are. They, there's not a lot left to that front end, is there? When you make decisions about going out at night, you know, everybody wants to have fun, right? But everybody needs to come home, should come home. That woman that died, she should have come home. Henry Ruggs, who got arrested and has been on house arrest ever since, he should have come home. He was 0.16 and his girlfriend was in the car. These are very difficult cases to win because you've got such an egregious driving conduct. Now think about what would have happened if Henry Ruggs would have just had a little foresight. Okay, we're gonna have a little bit of alcohol. Let's take an Uber. I mean, he had, you're talking about building? He he built up a career. He had a lot to lose. And guess what? As soon as he got this charge, they dropped him. Uh, the Raiders dropped him. A little foresight, just a little bit of foresight. Let's take an Uber. Let's take an Uber black. Better yet, let's rent a limo. You know, I mean, we want to be ballers. Let's be ballers. But he, but the young, the young testosterone-filled ego that is tooling around in this car without really a care in the world while he's doing it, smashes at 156 miles per hour. There was a lot of legal wrangling going on in this case. Uh, his lawyers were trying to get the medical records. There was fights about the judge and who they were gonna um, 
who was actually going to preside over this case. One judge recused himself. Another judge had just gotten rotated off a DUI court. But his lawyer was uh, David Chesnov and Richard Schoenfeld. And they said, uh, this is the first step toward a fair resolution to this matter. And we look forward to closure for all the parties involved. One thing you didn't hear from Mr. Chesnov, you didn't hear a lot of bluster. You didn't hear, and in fact, you didn't hear anything until they resolved the case. That's the way you handle it. I know of Mr. Chesnov. I don't know him personally. He's my office partner's friend for the American Board of Criminal Lawyers. Top-notch lawyers. He's got absolutely top-notch lawyers. But where's his future going? He's going to prison. He's going to prison for anywhere three to ten years, somewhere in there. You know, Mr. Ruggs was a very talented, talented football player. He ran the combine uh, 40-yard dash in 427, which beat everybody else by 8 hundredths of a second. He was the fourth fastest overall since the 90s. He had such promise, such promise. And I want you guys to think about this. Think about this flipping case. You think about how just one stupid decision can impact the rest of your life and impact others as well. So, you know, you, I talk about building, but you should also be preserving and preserving by making good decisions. You know, my heart goes out to him because I guarantee you he's, he's not sitting there thinking, oh, I got away with this or I got away with that. You know, he's lost everything. He's lost his, I don't know if he's still with the same girl or not, but he certainly has lost his career. He's lost, uh, he's going to lose his freedom, and, and he's going to lose all this money that he had. Mr. Ruggs only played about 20 games. His career earnings were a little under $11 million. He had a guaranteed contract of $16 million. You know, he had plenty of money, but that's going to have to last him. And who knows how much his lawyer's cost i mean i bet his lawyers probably charged him a quarter of a million dollars or at least a hundred a uh, hundred to two hundred thousand somewhere in there because he, he had he definitely had top-notch lawyers and what do you do with a case like that what do you do when you can't win on the facts well you have to rehab the person you know you put him in rehab you make him sober he's sitting you know in home monitoring for this whole time since 2021 so he's for a little over a year a year and a half he's he's on home monitoring so you have to be able to point to what a good person your client is, how they've made amends, how they uh, are amenable to treatment and probation to try to get the best offer you can. But when, you, when you're dealing with a death, it's very difficult to watch because sometimes there's not a whole lot you can do except for just pray for mercy from the court. And I mean, he doesn't have a substantive defense on this because it is what it is. And even the best lawyer in the world can't change the facts of your case. That $10 million, almost $11 million that he's received in career earnings, he, he was a star. He definitely had a lot going for him. And you know what? Hopefully he's got his family and has support otherwise. And when he gets out of prison, who knows? Maybe he can pick up where he left off. I don't know if he can do that or not. But for right now... For the next few years, however long it's going to be that he's going to be in prison, he's not going to earn anything except for maybe 25 cents an hour, uh, you know, doing whatever jobs that they have there in prison. You know, you, you hate to see a young guy with promise like this just throw everything away by one snap decision. And so if I have any message to impart to you guys, think, just think before you go out, think about who's with you, think about what you're going to be doing, and think about an exit plan. You know, okay, you know, I went out, and I let's not drive at all. And because if we're going to be drinking, we might as well just leave the car at home so you're not even tempted. Easy to get there, hard to get home sometimes. So, and, and, and the other thing about DUIs, they're, they're progressive in nature. You know, even if you don't kill somebody, they're... Uh, you know, you get another one and it's more serious. Another one, it's more serious. Another one, they can take your car. Another one, it's a felony. So just try to be wise when you're out there, guys. And we'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. This has just been our reaction to uh, Henry Ruggs pleading guilty and going to go to prison from just a very short-sighted decision to drink and drive. See you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers. 
board certified criminal defense lawyer. Make sure you subscribe, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, sign up for Patreon. And we'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. 23 hour lockdown, please is that my god.